Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saikan and today we're continuing the disaster campaign or saving thereof of the Grenadier debacle where we are trying to get more shredding and a deeper roster for Mr. A who sent in the campaign. I think we're sort of halfway there. It's uh, just getting out of the pickle. Uh, that we have mo mo uh, moved ourselves into uh, managing the uh, avatar project a little bit better and uh, maybe getting one or two more promotions here and there and then i think he should be generally fine we're going in uh, to stop the advent retaliation this time with uh, a reaper major lincoln aka the president uh, we are taking the prime team for a walk uh, we um, poured in quite a few points into them and uh, I continue using Wally -E as the second uh, fire support just so that we do have uh, more shredding and Wally -E in particular will be skilled a little bit different uh, than the other Mac because I think uh, there is room for improvement. Good, here we go. Landing, ready, steady, super go. Good. We're, it's a straight up uh, retaliation mission where we need to uh, s uh, save the civilians. Order, Commander. An alien patrol. Lincoln is moving in. And I think it's a good time to immediately start triggering. That's an easy pack. That is an easy pack. So, there now. Uh, we're going to save our grenades for a bit later. The question is, how do we want to deal with the purifier? And I think there are a couple of answers actually for that. One of which is, uh, let's run and gun. I wonder if I should still use uh, the plasma grenade. Potentially not the worst idea ever. Can't hit both. Berserker is uh, the prime target, but I like the idea of removing cover and also shredding. It's fine, we do have another another grenade left over. Good, with that little trick here. We are ready to kill. Um Got a couple of remote starts actually. Just none of them are going to be helpful for us. Let's start with getting down the Berserker. As I mentioned, it's the prime target. Decent damage. He's now enraged. Free shot with lightning hands. Absolutely good. I like it. And I tell you what, we're just going to maneuver the Berserker down. Oh, we did not have uh, quick draw. My bad. I'm so used to play uh, of playing with quick draw. I haven't even con uh, given consideration for the option of not having it. Ambush kill, no reveal, and this should be a kill. 
All right, first pack resolved. We're not moving further. I don't want to trigger. That's going to be a tougher pack. Archon plus double elite specter. Question is, is the chosen going to show up? And the answer is no. Alright, I'm going to risk There's an alien um, saving this guy. There we go. Uh, we can see them. There is high ground over here, by the way, and there is fa fabulous high ground there. And there is also high ground here. If you're playing with um, with Max, always try to go. Always try to go for the high ground. Moving to position. There's almost no reason why you shouldn't. Get out of here. We're saving a couple of civilians in the meantime. Okay, well, Grappling. not optimal, but I don't think they are going to join us right here. So we can take this and go uh, to the high ground Ten next four. turn. I'm all over it. Pushing in towards the left hand side because that's where the high ground is located. Good. Overwatching, overwatching, good. Advantage of a Reaper is you can really so, uh, solo pull uh, the enemy targets. And that might be the next pack that triggers. Yep. Good, moving on into full cover, but mainly trying to save these guys. Um, how about... How about... Well, we do have a nice little explosion here. That should take care of the captain. And take a good look at the other pack. Oh, this dangerous. There we go, down to half cover. Let's get the officer down. Well, how about that? And in the meantime, we're moving up. I want to remove the cover, if possible. And I tell you what. That rocket launcher isn't a bad idea. <clears throat> I will place it more over here to prevent that tree because I want to take the high ground and then fight from there. It's almost like snooker you want to play one uh, game move at least ahead. Easy. Implacable, yes, but not a touchable. Uh, this you could theoretically trigger. There's no point in being that aggressive. There really isn't. Taking high ground. 
taking full cover over here. And we're moving up, I want uh, the stand over there. Plus we're getting some more high ground over here. Okay, so far everything is going according to plan. With the exception of uh, the odd kill here and there. <clears throat> we're actually doing relatively well. Moving in further, and that is a nasty pack, a very, very nasty pack. This should not trigger. And indeed it did not. Good. Four out of six. That's good. That's very good. Uh, we will need... We will need Overwatch here. Moves up, you can take low ground here. Yeah, we're just going to stay where we are actually. And it's also not atypical that you would uh, see two packs running into you. Um, that sometimes the AI uh, will do that. AI knows where you are standing at all uh, uh, times, so don't uh, have the illusion that there is kind of a true, um, true fog of war. And it is programmed in a way that it will try to get between you and the mission targets. In this case, there are no more civilians on the top left, hence AI is moving in. And I wouldn't be surprised if the sector pod comes joining us. No. Well. For once, uh, that was uh, lucky. Moving, Moving up. Uh, that would be a triplet hit to get rid of cover. Generally not bad. But the question is, is it worth it? I would love to keep our last grenade. All right, lightning hands into frostbiting the Archon. Just to try to control him properly. into preparing with a face-off. Unfortunately, we don't have quick draw, elsewise I could have had yet another hit here. And since we do have death from above on our Grenadier, he's now on cleanup duty.
Okay, well, that should be a kill. Very well. Uh, we're going to go for 8 protocol on the ranger. For potential extra overwatch shot. Uh, with threat assessment. Couple of misses here. Well, never mind. Implacable into full cover. Unfortunately, we can't reload, so the overwatch is a bit wasted. Big poo poo. Sector port was out of line of sight, but came back in. Okay, we don't want to lose Mr. President, do we? Uh, faces one would move out, uh, try to hit us, which wouldn't be great. Specifically since that could destroy the car and with the explosion would definitely kill us. Now, nah, can't uh, survive, uh, can't win uh, with uh, handing over an action over there. Um, that's a typical lesson of how not to approach it. <coughs> we can re stealth, but only at the beginning of next turn. Full cover is still our best bet here. We're just going to overwatch and are going to wait for the sector port who is luckily taking easier hits first and if we go good it might be a red cannon that's a shredding by the way good job red cannon yep Okay, that uh, is helpful. Good. Since they don't have good um, good chances to hit, they're all overwatching. Now the one. Um, problematic movement. Okay, did not have enough movement to get uh, to us. So I needed to double move. Okay, cool. Well, we're safe. Bit close, uh, closer comfort than expected, but still. Alright, reloading. Sector port needs to go first, so we're fully shredding it, and you can see beautiful damage right there. We do have death from above, so next natural question is, with that 18... It's not a 100% kill, but it is a pretty damn good chance of killing them. Good remote start.
Uh, we are going to make them really work for it. Trying to get rid of both of the Overwatches. Uh, remote start uh, Claymore as a combination is a good one. We're looking into a 100% kill here. 12, that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Shifting over our action to here. Which then results into more setup. Sector pot's almost down. Reloading. Killing this guy. Implacable gives us a free movement action. Um we're running gunning, team working. Run gun is still active, which means we can take a shot. Using a couple of um, options from my bag of tricks here. Mainly to showcase how to deal uh, with the situation. Overdrive, we do have uh, the ability to hit on uh, successive shots. Adaptive aim is super helpful. And you can see shredding him nicely. And then even taking him out. Good. Shadow. And reload. Very good. Two big packs successfully eliminated. This wins us the mission. And since we're out of uh, cooldowns and need to reload, we're actually going to slow it down. We're actually going to slow down and uh, consolidating our forces a bit more. My life is in your hands. Moves up there. Overwatch. Heading out. Moves up. Come get some. On Overwatch. There's one more pack. Now we just need to find it. Gotta be a bit careful with the Reaper. Definitely need to give us 
Uh, I need a really, I really need to give us a mimic beacon. I know that we can build it uh, by now. On your order. Need to get us the funds in order to do that. Highly useful item, specifically for situations like this. Okay. Um, how about going up. we're going over here? Now I'm going. Putting ourselves into decent cover. Somehow the mech just can't jump uh, from the other side. Well. Never mind that. On the move. Moving out. But we still got a grenade left over. And there's the last patrol. Respectively, kill zone. I'll be there soon. We're staying out of any possibility to be detected. And this should be a nice little Overwatch trap. Mech immediately goes down. Okay, here we go. No. Are we at least getting a stupid cover? Yep, at least partially got it. Well, I tell you what, we can always just charge in. Shotgun to the face. It's a very well functioning tactic. Has always worked. Yeah, we're just going to continue to overwatch really. Unless he's uh, using stasis, he's going to be dead. Yeah. All right, hit the face this one. And finish it very well well with the exception of uh, the one very unfortunate uh, reveal that mission was uh, rather straightforward and actually worked out well so a couple of things to do we need battlefield medicine for better healing I definitely would need a few more upgrades on the weapons And Mimic Beacons would be helpful as well. We already figured that one out. Advanced Auto Loader is great. I can tell you who is going to get that. Uh, we do have this wonderful weapon here with a superior scope. Advanced Auto Loader will just make it even better because now um, you can do so much more with it. Part Armor is coming up in two days. We need more supplies. 
So the name of the game here is Black Market. Facility lead uh, definitely would want to get that. Avenger plotting new cord. Definitely want to get the facility lead. <coughs> that way he has the Avatar project under control. Couple of shield uh, bearer corpses. Couple of trooper corpses, really. I will leave some here for uh, for uh, mine shields. Lots of stun lancer corpses. Couple of spectre corpses. Wow, he fought a lot of sector pots, that's for sure. No wonder that he is afraid of them. Um you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. Good. So we wanted to do a couple of things. Experimental ammunition is nice, but uh, I would like Viper Mag uh, Viper Corpses for Battlefield Magazine. I tell you what, let's stop that because I want to keep one core uh, just in reserve for the moment that we got three Viper Corpses, which we currently don't yet have. And then Mimic Beacon two times is helpful. Good investment of 200 uh, supplies and the corpses. So that's actually helpful. Okay. Facility lead is helpful as well. We're soon going to need to uh, do a facility mission for sure. Uh, Psylab would be helpful, could do that, but requires Elarium as well, and he doesn't seem to play with psionic characters, and that late in the game on Legendary, don't start training them, it's not worth it. Instead, what we need is uh, defense metrics, so apparently someone has not yet researched um, turrets. Will likely prove crucial to our That's a super energy. important upgrade. Don't have the 100 intel to spare here, sorry. I think the sector port breakdown isn't bad um, for uh, the, make, uh, the version 3 of uh, the uh, Gremlins. That's decent if you want to work with them. Our Templar just got back in action. That's good. And let's see what else we can do. Nothing in the queue there, which is fine. How many ability points do we have? Uh, not many. Another important step forward in our research. Good, so this gives us Gremlin Mark III. Despite a lot of speculation, there was no pilot to be found once... Cost of additional comm station by 50%. That's actually not bad if he wants to uh, expand, which he needs to do. And it doesn't cost us anything other than 10 days. And at the moment, we do not have a research lined up uh, because we don't have enough Alarium. Engineer, Intel, which might be the better choice here, or supplies. I think we're going for Intel and uh, then also purchase a bit Alarium. I was hoping we would get a supply rate or even be able to scan. The moment that Alien Cipher is gone, with all of the intel, we will be able to purchase from the black market and then also push deeply into uh, South America. So both will be helpful. For the time being, I'm just going to stock up on intel. Setting course for Eastern United States. 
and await the avatar project uh, to come through. If you want to prevent uh, the avatar project and reduce um, its blips, then the only way of doing this is sending a covert ops uh, squad to the like button and uh, sabotaging that. Give it a thumbs up and see you in two days. Bye bye guys.